Welcome to Murraysville's finest, Glove Up Boxing Club, a private training facility for people who want to learn boxing, kickboxing, jiu-jitsu, and grappling. Right here, you'll see Elizabeth Statlander working hard, jumping rope, doing exercises, and her trainer, Adam, on this feedback, getting ready to face each other off in the ring with a little sparring lesson. And everything you do outside the ring to strengthen your body makes all the difference. You get in and you get ready to throw your punches. Notice that Elizabeth is a southpaw, meaning her power arm is the left and her jab arm is the right. Most boxers do it the opposite. Here you see Elizabeth and Adam trading shots and having fun in the ring. This is where I work out and spend a lot of my free time. And we have a really exciting guest today, Adam, who is my trainer, my friend. And this was a little project that you um, let me kind of get involved with in the beginning. Absolutely. And Big part of it. Yeah, and boxing is my favorite sport. I am incredibly passionate about it. I've been boxing since I was 26 years old. And Adam has been my so trainer. Just started? Yeah, I just started. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Thank you. Exactly. I'm like, huh? Oh, it took me a second. Yeah, thank you. Of course. Now I'm 27. It's right. been a whole okay. year. It's been great. And this is where I really like to spend my free time, and I even bring my dogs. They're all ready for their workouts. Yes, they are. Sakor's is in his red, and Suri's in her hoodie, so we're all ready. Um, so I want the, the viewers, because weight loss is a big thing. Huge. And, you know, and Flores is crying, and, you know, we're going to have to take you over to mommy for a second. So... You know, this is a big time when everybody wants to get in shape because it's spring and it's summer and yes. everybody wants to get ready for, you know, bathing suits and summertime. It is bathing suit time. Wow, and wow. It <laughs> is. And now we've got this great, really private boxing club yes, where people private. can come and train with you and really learn the sport of boxing. Absolutely. So if I'm just, you know, a, a regular person who just wants to get in shape yes. and they come in here, what is going to happen? What will you do with them? Um, first, we, we, we like to start off with our footwork. Um, your footwork is your foundation. Okay. So if you don't, if you, you know, you're built, if your house is built on a bad foundation, it's going to crumble. Okay. Same thing with being in the ring. Okay. We start with your feet. We do a lot of footwork, 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 uh, and then you, you it, we do pad work and then we put it together, your hands and feet. A lot of people can't do it, it takes a lot of time. Okay. Um, if you're willing to put the effort in, it's gonna happen. I'm okay. gonna make it happen. Okay. So and I can speak personally, Absolutely. amazing trainer. Um, you know, you. he he works you your whole body. What I like about your training is that yeah, we do a lot of boxing, but we also do like toning exercises. Yes. You help with nutrition and diet, Absolutely. you really help people get yes. in shape. So um, I think a lot of people who have never boxed before are a little bit intimidated by it, right? Like people ask me, you, you know, do you box? You know, I'm like, I, yeah, I love it. For the person who might be intimidated to come in here, what would you say to them? Don't be. Okay. No reason to be. Okay. Um, I'm, you, I'm here to teach. You're here to learn. And uh, it's going to happen quick. It's going to happen quick. I'm not like the other gyms. Um, 
one punch here, one punch there. I may seem a little overwhelming at first, but you get it you get it together and you put it together very quickly. Okay. So what you're saying is like it's it's something that you have to break down. You can't just get no. in the in the ring and start swinging. No, not at so all. So you have to learn how to throw a punch. You have to learn how to move your feet. You have yes. to learn your stance. And we're going to demonstrate this for sure. everybody. Yeah. Um, but you know, I wanted to also share with the viewers because I know that boxing um, is something that not only are people intimidated by, but they don't know a lot about it anymore. You know, boxing used to be very popular yes. many years ago, yes. and now it's coming back. It's coming back yeah. But it's not what it used to be, and we don't have any like really great superstars in boxing or anything. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it's been a people, while. yeah, and people are afraid. I don't want to get hit, and mm -hmm. I don't know if I can do it, and yeah. all that stuff. Yeah, I like to work with all ages, um, kids. Uh, women, men, we have uh, guys, uh, one of my oldest gentlemen, he's uh, 55 years old. Really? And yeah, um, it's all about train people, making them want to stay. You don't train a 50 year old like you would a 20 year old. Right. I mean, you just can't do it. Right. Um, um, but they, when they come in uh, and when they leave here, you know, the, the hardest part is walking through that door. Yeah, so, that's and then, true. And they're, uh, they're mine for that hour and a half, you know, yeah. an hour, good hour. So um, they love it. Okay. Absolutely love it. So, um, I want the story because I feel like boxing gyms used to be part of American neighborhoods. You know, yes. you could, any major city had boxing gyms everywhere. Oh, yes. Not so much anymore. Yeah. But this gym, your gym, reminds me of like a true boxing gym Thank for you. the people who really, you know, want to learn. Yes. But it's also clean, it is. pristine, <laughs> it is. gorgeous, Thank well you. designed, Thank perfect. You. Okay. You. So, Tell us a little bit how this place came to be. Um, it was a flip thing. I always wanted a gym. I started boxing when I was 15. Um, got into kickboxing and then I got into jiu-jitsu, uh, jiu which is okay. a great sport. And uh, uh, I was looking for my kids. I got my kids into it, my older boys, uh, Nico 20 and uh, 19, uh, Tanner 19. Okay. And um, they love coming down. And I just wanted to keep it for my family. Uh, and people found out I have a gym. And, like myself. Yes, and my phone is just ringing off the hook. and so. Yeah. I only want to, you know, a certain amount of people. I don't want it to be overly crowded. You right. know, people to enjoy themselves, get a great workout in, and uh, you know, leave tired. You yeah, know. Well, we and waking do. up hungry. You know, absolutely, do it again. absolutely. I mean, boxing is not for the faint of heart. Mm -hmm. I mean, but we also want the public to know who's watching this that. You know, not to be intimidated because no. Adam will work with you Absolutely. wherever you're at. You know, Absolutely. this is not just for people who are super yeah, this athletes. Is, this is my passion. I yeah. love it. I love it. And I you've been it. boxing how many years? Oh, since 15. I'm, I know I look like I'm 25, but I'm 43, so. <laughs> what did you, you do? I was thinking. Oh, yeah, right. Six, maybe like me, you know. So why do you love boxing? Uh, I just love it. It's just very competitive. Um, it's a one on one sport. So um, the only person you have to blame is yourself. So, but um, I just love it. I just love it. Okay. Yeah. What about you? Well, it's funny because I have a long history in boxing, and okay. so, I, you know, we've talked a little bit about this before, but when I was 26, I just moved to South Florida, and I always wanted to learn how to box right. my whole life. And I just happened to move in with my older brother down in South Florida who lived next to a boxing gym, and I didn't have a job yet. Right. So I woke up in the morning, and I'm like, I have to check out this place have to see what this is all about so I walked over to the gym and I walk up the stairs and I could hear like the bells yeah, and the, yeah. the sound from the boxing bells and the bam 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 on the bags and I was like I'm home Smell of sweat yep. yeah I was like I'm <laughs> home this is where I I belong here yeah. and like people don't expect it from like a, no. a smaller woman or something but I just fell in love with it yes. and so I walk up the stairs and there's this really nice guy from um from Britain there his name is Trevor Cedar okay. and hi Trevor because I'll make sure he sees this um, hi Trevor. Hi Trevor. <laughs> and Trevor really got me involved. Um, I walked in. I said, "Hey, I just moved here from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Yeah. I want to learn how to box." And he's like, "Okay." And I joined his gym. So he had a boxing gym. He was like one of the only people in the country that started this concept of you don't have to be a boxer to train like one. Yes. So he gave me gloves and he taught me how to wrap my hands and. He said, go ahead and take some classes. Yeah. And it was love at first punch for right. me, literally. Love at I mean, punch. it was like the that. weirdest thing. It was yeah. love at first punch. I hit that bag and I was like, this is, yeah. this is it for me. It's an amazing stress reliever. Oh, um, it's it, unbelievable. It, it, it does the body so, I mean, it does. amazing. Your mind, it does. your body, your heart. Um, it, it's, I just love it. I can't talk enough I can't it. either. And, you know, one of the things, I mean, boxing's brought so much to my life yeah. that I don't even know where to begin. Yeah. But I would say something that was really interesting. Great was, job, Trevor. <laughs> yeah, <sorry. laughs> yeah, he was awesome. Yeah, he, he inspired me and he gave me, he didn't train me though, oh, okay. but he gave me some free passes to do privates because 
I grew out of the classes so quickly. Gotcha. So I did classes for like a month because you weren't allowed in the ring there. And right. so you at least did classes for a month. Absolutely. And I just like, it became very like, kind of, I don't want to say boring to me, but right. it really quickly. And I'm like, yeah. I want to train, I want to train. And so this guy, Victor, I forget his last name, but he's, he was from Puerto Rico and he was my first trainer. So he was the first, first person that ever Good held job, the pads. Good job, Victor. Yeah, he was the first person that ever held the pads for me. Yeah. And then from, what's really crazy is when I was at Trevor's gym down in South Florida, Angelo Dundee, who okay. was Muhammad Ali's trainer, mm -hmm. happened to work out of that gym. Wow. At that time, now Angelo was 80, and we're yeah. going back 15 years ago. Yeah. So he's since passed. But um, so Angelo comes over, Trevor introduces us, and Angelo says, Statlander, or you're a Statlander. And I said, Yeah, why? Because I didn't think anyone knew who my family was. So he said, Was your family in boxing? And I said, As a matter of fact, yeah, I know my great uncles were in boxing. Mm -hmm. And he goes, oh, I know your uncle Ziggy, and I know your uncle wow. Joe. Small world. So, wait, my uncle Ziggy was the lightweight champion of Palestine before wow. it was Israel in 1931, I believe, and, like, the lightweight something or other of Germany. And so my uncles were boxing in Germany during Nazi Germany. Okay. And my uncle Joe, that he was on the cover of a... Um, a German newspaper for knocking out like a six foot five Nazi. Wow. And my Uncle Joe was like my size. He was like wow. five three little yeah. guy because they were all trained boxers. Can't, you can't the little guys. And it said in the headline, um, David slew Goliath. And it was my Uncle Joe and this big Nazi soldier that he knocked out. Wow. So we, so Angelo Dundee, yeah. who was Ali's trainer, told me all this. And I, I mean, here I am, this yeah. little girl from Pittsburgh. I who yeah. just was drawn to boxing, but I believe it's in my blood. Yes. I have three brothers, and I'm the only one who boxes. Right, <laughs> right, mean, right, right. Like, how do you it's figure okay. that? Yeah. You know. But I just loved it, and um, like and you said, I, I like that quote: uh, "Love at first punch." Love at cool. first yeah, punch. Yeah, I like that. It really was, and um, I think for women, they don't understand what boxing can bring to their life, no, and it's, it, it's amazing. At the time, all I say is, "Give me an hour. Give me an hour and a half yeah. with you." We don't like it, you know. Well, as a as a mental health counselor, okay, mm -hmm. and a marriage and family therapist, I believe that boxing can change people's lives for so many reasons. It's changed and mine. It changed mine too. Yeah. And I remember when I got into boxing, <clears throat> I had lost my uncle, who was like a dad to me, and he died the year before, and I was miserable and grieving and depressed. Of course. And, you know, I just wanted to get out of Pittsburgh, and I find boxing. And boxing and my trainer, who was Orlando Cuellar, he's amazing, um, they, he gave me myself back through boxing. Yeah. And he taught me how to be strong and deal with what happens in the world through pushing me physically yes. and mentally. Yes. And um, I mean, I was doing like 15 rounds. Yeah, that's, like, amazing. I, I, that's I was, amazing. It was crazy at yeah. that age. Now I can't do that anymore. But <laughs> boxing really taught me to have self-confidence. It made me feel stronger as a woman. Also, like if someone one were to ever, um, you know, hurt me, like yes. I, I would like to think that at least I could fight. And it just I, I agree with that. Time. Yeah. <laughs> and actually, when I was training with you, I was attacked by a dog. If you remember, oh, yes, um, yes. over the summer, and I believe that I was able to fight for my little dog's life yes. because of your training. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you for all that you taught Reads me. A lot. So, you. yeah. So boxing is a wonderful um, mental workout. It's not just Yes, yes, and that's coming from a therapist, yes, you know? yes. What is it mentally for you? Um, mentally for me, it's just, when I'm here, this is like church, I'm a beast. Yeah, this is like my, my yeah. sanctuary, my synagogue, yes. yeah. Yeah, it's, I'm just a beast. Like, you know, I tell people when you, you walk through that door, check your ego, and we're here to just work out. Yeah. You know? Yeah. There's something about boxing that I can't put into words, right. but it changes, it's a life. It's, it's a life lifestyle. Changing. Yeah, it's, it's a lifestyle, it's, that's right. And it's, um, it's so good for your self-esteem, people out there. So yes. you have to get in and give Come, it a try. Yes, please. One hour, one hour of your time. You'll yeah. love it. So, well, thank you so much for the interview. So um, next, thank we're going to we're gonna <laughs> thank you so much. Thank and you. Um, so next, we're going to do some demos. Sure. And, um, and then to. we'll let people know how they can get in contact with you. Awesome. All right, glove up, everybody. Push, push. Hands up. Jump down. Okay. Now everybody gets to watch Danielle. Danielle is a really, really strong kicker. Wait till you see her go. Down, 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 back, step back, two, three, four, five. Front push, front push, there you go, back push, jam it, there you go. Two, three, four, five. Ha, round, ha, good, other round, ha, good. Step back, step back, two, three, four, five. Ha, front push, ha, back push, ha, get that knee up, get that knee up, okay, step back. Go, boom, jam it, two, three. 
fucking three. Good. Um, climb. Ha, ha, climb. Ha, ha, three, triple, five. Ha, round. Ha, good. Step back. I will double up. Okay. Come on. Ha, come on, one more time. Ha, good. Spinning back. Let's go. Ha, good. One more time. Come on. Ha, nice. Again. Come on. Ha, good. Good. One more time. Hard. Ha, nice. Ha, good. Two, three. Ha, four, five, two, three. Ha, four, four, two. Ha, back it up. Two, three. Ha, step. Two, three, four, five. Two. Step. Two, three. Ha, four, five. Two. Ha, front push. Come on, Jamie. Back. Ha, good. Two, three. Ha, ha, four, five. Two. Alright everybody, you saw all the demonstrations, kickboxing, regular boxing, speed bag, rope, you see all the things that are going on here at Glove Up Boxing. I still can't catch my breath, Adam. <laughs> Thank you for the awesome hey, workout. Danielle, you're pleasure. amazing. Um, if anybody out there wants to learn how to kick like Danielle, punch like any of us, yeah. <laughs> come on in. The phone number is 412-773-3436 or you can reach us at Glove Up Boxing on Facebook. You can send a message. I'll probably get the message and pass it on to Adam. Um, and that's it. Yes, thank, thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah.